Today's video will be a bit different. We're going to have a look at a leaked clip showing the After Effects and Premiere Pro timelines and workflow for a Magnates Media video. Before we do that, it looks like Magnates Media's channel is in some serious trouble and needs help, even if it's just to leave a comment or share his tweets. It would be sad to see him go, but I'm optimistic the situation will be resolved once it gets enough attention. The editing clip in question comes from the upper echelon video that Magnates Media shared on a community post. And the editing clip is for the Magnates Media a video about Andrew Carnegie which has been removed off YouTube due to false copyright claims. Having a look at the After Effects timeline you can already see that this short composition alone has more than 100 layers and some of the pre-comps have 20 layers on top of that. Something else I'm surprised by is that this clip is straight from the editor's computer and they don't have too many workspace panels or plugins. There's Animation Composer 3 but that's about it. I was expecting to see a lot more. They could be hidden or not enabled but it's still a pretty basic setup. A lot of the individual layers don't have too much animation going on and a lot of the layers are Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator files linked directly into After Effects. The vertical paper tear effect is something he created in Adobe Illustrator and switched the mode to what looks like a linear burn. There's a few adjustment layers with motion blur enabled and a shake and distort pre-composition and these seem to be applied underneath the photo but over the Scotland flag mp4 layer that's underneath. The photo pre-comp has a mask around it to reveal part of the person and flag. And inside the pre-comp is the main animation in the scene. And it's this specific animation that the Business Casual channel is falsely copyright striking. He's trying to claim that he owns the rights to this image and the parallax effects applied to it. Parallax is the technical term used for basic 3D camera animations applied to 2D layers at different depths, positions and scales within 3D space. You can see here that he has several smoke, explosions, burning lights and gasoline MP4 layers most of which are 3D enabled. The editor even even shows how he gets these from the Envato Elements stock video library. Imports and duplicates them and then rotates and reposition them to look slightly different from one another. The editor also shows that there isn't actually that much parallax with the original photo. All they do is cut out the town and make it a separate layer to the background and then reposition those two layers in 3D space to give a simple parallax effect. And when compared to Business Casual's clip which seems to have the photo cut into four or five different layers so it's not even the same effect at all. It's wild to me that he's trying to claim this as some sort of copyright infringement when even the original photo is free to the public. It seems that quite salty Magnates Media has taken the same publicly available photo and animated it in a much better way. The editor even recreates the effect quickly in a new composition. They cut the photo into two layers on Photoshop, opens those two layers in After Effects, makes them 3D, adds a camera and creates a start and end keyframe for the camera's point of interest and position. This is incredibly simple and any of you can do this effect for your projects. Then he duplicates a few smoke effects from Envato elements then repositions them with 3D enabled. Then we also get a peek at the Premiere Pro timeline which is even more simple. I think this is very useful insight into the workflow and workspace of a Magnates Media video. It seems that the script and audio is recorded first and positioned into Premiere Pro and then each segment has its own After Effects composition created and exported as an mp4 file as opposed to dynamic linking each time. It's a good way to do it and you don't have to stream your computer having all these programs open at once. And if I had to guess majority of the editing is done in After Effects where Premiere Pro is used mainly for layout, audio and exporting. So if you want to edit like Magnates Media you will want to get really familiar with After Effects. Let me know what you think of this video, it's something different but getting a clip from one of his editors is a rare opportunity I wanted to share. And again if you can help Magnates Media by commenting or sharing his posts or tweets hopefully his channel can remain on YouTube. Thanks for watching, see you next time.